What's up, everybody? It's day two out here in Tampa. Um, it's been a fun, fun weekend already. We were up a little later than we wanted to last night. Uh, we went and saw Hunter, and that lasted longer. And then Matt advised to get a burger and fries last night because we've been five weeks since we've had anything off plan, and it was after leg day and just to steady my weight. And we went to this place that kind of took like 40 minutes, and we were there till about 12:30 at night. So we're up and at it again, bright and early again today. So we got to get arms in um, early with Joe today because he's got a busy day. Uh, so we are here at the Lion's Den again. So this has been a privilege. This is actually Dave Batista's gym, so it's really cool to, you know, know that you know all this stuff around here is. He's here very often. He's out of town right now, so we're not gonna see him. But just cool to change the same environment and see all this cool equipment. So we are gonna get some arms in and very focused today, letting Joe do his work. Um, again, as I continue to say, arms are an area I need to bring up. It's just a genetic thing, you know what I mean? They don't respond as well as other parts, but it doesn't mean you can't improve them. So we are going to continue to work on improving the arms and pick up some tricks and trades today from Joe to build your arms. Let's get massive arms. Let's get started. Just, you know, shoulder mobility warm up. Yeah. And we were in the car, when we were driving here yesterday, Ivana was telling stories. She's like, he's talking to Zach about how we met and stuff. She's like, yeah, I just remember you'd be, you know, you'd be at the gym trying to get my tension over the corner doing this. <laughs> and Zach's like, he still does. I go, I still do that. And guess what? I have not gone up two and a half pounds in 10 yeah. <laughs> Still used two and a half, too. Man. So I don't really have to like honestly you go wherever you're comfortable. I just don't like using the seat because like most people if they no, use the seat, use the seat, you know they do like this thing when like their arms up here or whatever. So wherever you kind of comfortably gotcha. get the leg. adjustable as you come to the finish just feel like you're keeping that smushed into there so it's like two thoughts it's almost like press in there while you squeeze into there yeah two more biggest thing on me, like this is normally how I'll get in, I'll just grab one, like pull around, get it like that, and then you can just get this one nice and close to your shoulder as well too. That's not too bad to get in that way. But as far as like the setup goes, the biggest thing is just take your arm straight. So take your arm straight and just make sure that cable is pretty much right at the center of your elbow, and that's how you know you've got setup right. So it doesn't really matter if you're a little bit like more externally rotated, a little bit internally rotated. Like that's the easiest place to find if you're lined up right, and then from there just pretty much keep it there the whole time. And then you can adjust a little bit like whether you like it more here or you want it up a little bit. It just kind of changes, you know, what part of the range of motion is most or least challenging. But there's not really like one that I would say is like definitively better than the other. Take it down all the way straight from it. So take the cable all the way up. There you go. Yeah, so that's a good spot. Then you can lift it up a little bit if you want. I'm not just talking to you, Zach. I want you to get this. This is the guy. It's not you, actual guys here. <laughs> uh, so you notice when Brett's doing that, um, I'm not. I didn't say a whole lot. So most of the time, same with legs. I'm like, let's see what he does and make adjustments as needed. Um, stuff for you guys at home, because that's the only tricky part too. Is obviously sometimes when I'm giving some little tips, everyone's like, oh, good tips. But if we already does a whole lot right, and you're like, what do I do at home? Do it like Brett. But for the most part, the things that he was doing very well was just control still. Um, and again, control is never really about pace. Sometimes if I want more control, I'll slow someone down. But you can clearly see at the end, he's got control. At the finish, he's got control, using his bicep the whole time. He's really using the pad well. So a lot of people on Preacher make the mistake of not using the pad where it's like they're moving on it. You just want to imagine you got super glue all on the back of your tricep and smashed into there. And that's like the one little cue that I gave him that's 
It's not that he wasn't even doing it, but I told him I kind of want to think about it. As you finish your curls, I always feel like you're pressing into the pad, like use it. And generally that'll make sure that it's all bicep. Good, we'll start at the bottom, control. Same thing, same control. All right, squeeze. Good. <coughs> Again, same exact thing. Keep that smashed in there, I'll get you there. Go, 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 go. We got one more. That's all you still come on. Good, finish, 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 finish. Nice. <coughs> So like questions all the time about like cables, should I use cables or whatever? I don't even think about it as one of those things like should I or should I use it like, like people want to compare is it better or worse than free weights or whatever, which is the dumbest thought process. It's just different. So it allows you to do different things. So if I ask Brett to go kind of like in a skull crusher position, like you're going to do a skull crusher. So again, like this, this is the best angle we got, right? And so he's trying to smash his arms in and it's here. If I'm doing something where, again, I want things to be elbow friendly, I want that load to line up with his elbows. If he's doing this lying down, this is where gravity goes. It only goes straight up and down. So it just pretty much can't line up with his elbows if he does a fixed bar. So the whole point, and honestly, he's probably not too comfortable trying to force him in here. He's having to use pecs and all sorts of shit just to try and jam him in. So if I said, hey, go out here, ah, much more comfortable. If you see his face is more relaxed. This is just easier. So from an arm standpoint, if we just chopped off his arm and looked at the load and how it lines up, like with a cable, it's doing almost the exact same loading pattern as like a barbell or, or, an, easy cur or an easy bar skull crusher. So the loading pattern is almost exactly the same, which is why they're both great exercises. The difference is cables, you can cross them. You can make them line up like this so you don't have to try and force yourself into a bar. So that's the whole point. Again, as far as the how the exercises, what they bring to triceps, as far as how they load the muscle, very, very similar. Cables give you maybe a little bit more versatility. Um, but you really can't, again, doing both arms at the same time, line things up using a barbell if you're breadth size. So if you're at home, and like again, some people will take that information and be like, oh, well doing bar barbell or easy bar skull crushers is bad. It's not bad if you can get in here and you can actually keep your upper arm pointed straight towards the ceiling, then it's fine. Um, so that's kind of your gauge, should you or should you not use cables. Honestly, from like a laziness standpoint, every bodybuilder, myself included, is lazy. If he could grab a barbell and it not wreck his elbows, I would say, hey, go do a barbell because it's easier. Um, but obviously the setup here is not super easy, but this will get you huge triceps just like a barbell will and it won't wreck your elbows along the way. So if you're Brett size or somewhere near Brett size or you're the same guy, you don't obviously have to be Brett size where it just feels like crap trying to get your arms in that tight, cables might be a better option. Again.
Oh, you still have <coughs> one now. <coughs> one more now. <coughs> That's one. Stick with it. Smash into that pad. Get that <coughs> arm into the bicep. Come on. Finish, 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 finish. There we go. <coughs> All right, as you saw, it started there with the, the bread and butter there. So exactly what you see on my programming, um, those are probably the two main movements for one, each bicep and tricep. And it's the bicep single arm curls. I'm doing, I've been doing a lot of those. Um, you know, preacher curls, also machine single arms. Um, I like to rotate to between two or three of them, but the same concepts there, same principles. And it was good to do with Joe because he just that constant reminder of driving that elbow into the pad, you know, controlling the movement through the bicep, um, getting everything you can out of it. And so. We did right there. That felt really, really good. That's probably the heaviest I've actually been telling. That's probably the heaviest I've ever done on those single arm dumbbells. It felt really good. And then we did the cable cross um, tricep extension. See, so did another staple there. And I just wanted to touch up on form with him, and he thought it looked pretty good. And so it felt really, really good. And we went, we went hard and heavy there at the end. So that was a nasty little superset to start. I'm already feeling nice and full. So let's keep getting at it. But same thing on these once you get locked in. I want to make sure that you're, I got the seat far enough forward, so you might be all right here. Um, just make sure you can get the full extension, but just go wherever you can comfortably go back. That's where you want to, like, don't force that stretch. And then the big thing will just be a pause in that position. Everything else will be the same, but if anything, maybe half a second longer there than you have over there. But keep that on right there. There we go. start with your hand directly above your shoulder so as you're coming to the bottom you're trying to bring your hand right to your shoulder and so then the trick from there is like whatever feels comfortable so if it feels comfortable kind of tucked for you it's probably gonna feel more comfortable out here either is fine and then honestly to make that happen too obviously because we're on the Smith I've got the safety set down here um, I'll always go like a false grip because generally you'll probably feel a little bit more comfortable like that you know so you can instead of having to try and keep your hand fixed in that position it's gonna kind of crank on your wrist so I'll go false and kind of go in this position. And that's for bigger guys. Generally, the thing you have to do is you can actually get down in that position and not feel like you're just like stuck on the bar or something like this, you know what I mean? And from there, the rest is pretty straightforward. So again, just bring that hand straight down. We'll try and kind of find your comfortable position. And again, bring it as low as you can where you got all your arm tissue kind of smashed against each other. And then hard contraction all the way to lock out. feel like you're thinking like the same way you would finish like a rope extension so obviously your hands aren't going to move on the bar but as you come up as opposed to just thinking up because at some point you'll start to reuse a little bit of everything which is fine just really think almost like you're trying to like rip the bar apart right. and that'll just get a little extra yeah. force on the triceps to lock out yeah.
All right, so we did another two of my main movements there. Again, now you've seen the programming that we really, really like. Um, we just executed more properly today. So we did the seated, I call them, I do want an incline bench as well, but just seated uh, cable curls. So as you saw, we kept our elbows far back and we weren't moving at any movement here through the body. Just fixed position with the elbow and just using the bicep to curl through to the top squeeze and control back. So those were really nasty. And then we did some kind of stretch there at the end that I can no longer scratch my head, but it was a great variation. And we paired it with the JM presses. So a little different setup. Usually I've been doing the, as you guys have seen, um, doing the bands, you know, to help help it out of the bottom of the hole. We had no bands there. We actually did the opposite. We were banding it down to make it harder through the top. Um, and so it's kind of a little bit different, but it felt really, really good. So he gave me some more cues of, you know, finishing the rep by extending the elbow out, you know, almost like you're doing a push down and trying to flick your pinkies out. So I was kind of thinking that, but pushing through the bar, obviously you're not able to, but I was able to contract the tricep more too. So some good pointers on that, felt really, really good. And now we have more triceps, so here we go. Okay, same control, little pause at the bottom, hard right, squeeze. Good, don't worry about height, just contract. Wherever they go, they go. Good, squeeze, one more, move it. Good, now hold. Good, squeeze tight, squeeze tight. Good, man. Yeah, you're reaching them back towards me a little bit. There we go. Squeeze that handle. Keep holding on. You got this. Come on. Keep it tight. Don't relax. Squeeze that handle hard. Come on. 10, 9, 8, five, 7, guys. 6, 5. Flex those triceps. 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Any type of remotely overhead stuff is just finding a comfortable position. We got the 80 foot long rope, so we'll see if that's nice comfortable enough right. for you to kind of just, honestly for here, they're only gonna be slightly above where you were for like the first movement. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not concerned about trying to get anywhere up here, just wherever you kind of can comfortably extend while your arm's there, and that's it. I'm just trying to do some work down. On most of these probably, we'll see how it goes, but you probably won't be getting quite the full extension, but we just want more of the stretch anyway. Um, and then we'll superset that with hammers. Um, so I'm just gonna have you doing dumbbells just like one at a time. So hold them both of them, but we'll do, you know, whatever, all one arm, and then we'll go all to the other arm. And then I might have you like do one or two of the last sets of those just with a superset uh, to the rope. But we'll start on these. Okay. Yeah, it's important. Just make sure you hit this little second pause when you're at the top. That was like no tension down here, so just kind of stop here. Second pause, and then. Come on. Come on. 
do. Let's go. <laughs> you finished with some overhead triceps yes. and hammer curls? So we did some rope cable seated overhead extensions there paired with um, dumbbell preacher curls. So again, hammer hammer curls. <laughs> you can get it here, here. Dumbbell hammer curls. Again, just two more that are on the plan there. And so that's just a perfect arm workout. Like I said, it's balanced front to back. Very, very full as you guys saw the, the arms are. And then we just threw a couple cues in there with Joe's intensifiers on that hammer curl we went over and did a rope one to finish after we were complete with the dumbbells um, and then on the rope we just did another final heavy set just a failure so overall great great arm workout it just kind of solidified what we're doing is correct but you just added a little bit more um, focus um, and things to work on and we're just gonna keep improving in here so let's just translate this over into prep continue the arm work and blow them up 22s are the 22s are always the goal, right? So, riding on 22s. That was that. But uh, all right, and that's a wrap on today. Not today. We got more coming today, but that's a wrap at the gym here. Um, again, Joe, thank you very much um, for letting us join the last two days here. You need to sign off. Signing off. Signing off. <laughs>